uh, dear students so in this uh, tutorial i will uh, talk about decision trees in decision making uh, with probability so we will see that how the decision trees help us to find uh, the best decision whether to where to invest so we have three cases here as we discussed previously that uh, three alternatives the first one is in stock the second is in mutual fund and third is in bonds right so we have these three options so out of these three options we need to see that which one is the best scenario for us so and these are the different probabilities for two different economies so let's suppose this is growing economies let's suppose for saudi arabia or maybe you can change with the so with america and declining economy uh, let's suppose uh, russia okay so we have like you know these uh, two cases now in these two uh, cases so what we have it um, uh, we see over here there are three options and there are also three options for the declining economy right and the probability is 0 0.4 for the usa and for russia is 0 0.6 so the total of these two would be how much the total of these two would be um, one right so it, it means that the, always the probability must be one right so if we divide into two or if we divide into three so it must be one must be one otherwise it is not correct okay so uh, for decision making we need two symbols basically one is called the square one that is called decision node and another is called circle which is called chance node or we call as an outcome node or we can call as an even node so let's draw connect all these things into into this one form and then we will do this uh, as a solving back or fold or back folding right so folding back so let's have this one diagram first and then we will go back in reverse order okay so in this one we will start with the right side in the right side we will compute the growing economies uh, for usa and declining economy for russia and then we have uh, growing economy for uh, uh, usa and then declining economy for russia and then similarly we we do this uh, three for uh, all the three computation so the first computation is for stock so for stock we have the values uh, 70 for USA and minus 13 is for Russia. And then uh, for mutual funds, we have uh, for USA is 53 and for Russia is minus 5. And similarly for, um, for bonds, we have like, you know, same for 20 and 20. So here, um, here the profit is same for uh, bonds in either in USA or in Russia. Now, if you see over here, so how we calculate, uh, like, you know, uh, the values here. So now we come to the second one and we will see that we have calculated the values over here and we have done one trick with, uh, with the bonds, right? So since the values for, we have two values and if it is same, so when we have the same values, we, we can do one trick that, and that is called, uh, let me draw it for you. And that is called, we just like, you know, combine in a one, right? So these two, uh, these two becomes, this converted into a, a single uh, arrow right okay now uh, so how we calculate usually so what we do we we take this value right and multiply with the probabilities which is 0 0.4 right and then and then make it plus sign okay just I make this for you plus sign for you we take this value right and multiply with the probability that's called respective probabilities and the total is would be here right so the total would be here and what we have when we have total is 20.2 so on this one on this chance node we put the value and similarly we calculate for mutual fund so this is for mutual fund we can already calculated for stock and then we calculate for the bond so for bonds is the same because both are the same so we can choose either of it right so this is how we how we do the calculations for it uh, mathematically i have just uh, written for you that how it works so 0 0.4 multiplied by 70 plus 0 0.6 multiplied by this one so if you put in a formula so it will it works like that one so you must enclose minus into the bracket so that it becomes a uh, safer calculation and similarly for this one calculation is done over here and similarly the formula is here so you can learn the formula from here and apply in the excel by yourself as well now out of these three decision we have it right so these are like you know the expected value uh, for us so in this expected value monetary value uh, we need to decide where to invest either to invest in the stock mutual fund or bonds so we have to lo look at the highest value so where is the highest value yeah this one so let me have some difference so this green color is the highest value so our decision would be to 
invest in the stock so we have we have to invest in the stock so thank you very much